Well, a couple different ways to do that. We can look at signature-based activity. A signature-based IDS looks at a database or contains a database of recognized attacks. What he'll do is he'll take current activity and compare it with the signature. So if he sees a high number of packets of a certain type with certain bit set and it matches a signature of a known attack, he will then sound an alarm. The problem with signature-based IDSs is that they may sound alarms for normal activity that just might look suspicious. But worse, if there's a brand new attack that just hit the streets today that does not exist in the signature database, that attack may very well be totally ignored, not even caught at all. The other type of intrusion detection system, which is different from signature-based, is a behavior-based intrusion detection system. This IDS, instead of looking at a static database that has to be updated over and over again, looks for usage anomalies. In other words, he's going to look for something that just doesn't look right. What that means is he has to sample normal activity and keep a log or keep an idea of what normal activity for your system looks like. Anytime he finds an obvious anomaly, he'll ring the bell. Sometimes we'll call this an expert system because the more he runs, the more he learns what happens. So you have to go through several different special cycles, especially if you're doing something specific for end of month or some other specific time during the, the day, the week, the month, or the year. Once he goes through a few of those cycles, he'll start to learn what a true usage pattern looks like on a particular system or a particular network segment. When he does find an anomaly, again, as I said, he'll ring the bell. However, he normally will result in more false positives than signature-based IDSs. The reason behind that is, anytime he sees something out of the norm, it could be normal behavior, but he thinks it's an anomaly. So he will alert you to that fact.